channel. I'm your teacher Aishwarya and today I am here with all of you with an amazing super interesting class where it's going to be a general knowledge session where I know you know most of it. There are going to be some new things that you will learn today but at the end of it I am sure that in half an hour you will not even realize how time went by right. So today's class is going to be very very interesting. So I need you to understand that I'm not going to be here to teach you anything but I'm here to spend some time with all of you and here at Baiju's we believe that especially with 6th to 8th graders right we always tell you guys that now exam is over you can relax and we always tell you that you need to learn explore do new things do it with us right so I welcome each and every one of you here I can see a lot of familiar names I can see Lakshmi, Usha, Gayatri, Harsimran, Sonakshi, hello good evening hi Kartika I can see a lot of new names hi Gungun, Gungun is not new but yes Gungun has been very regular along with so many of you yes good evening super duper excited awesome now of course I will try my best to take all of your names as possible let me tell you that I am not ignoring any of you right you know that I may miss out on chats here and there and of course at the end of it today's class is going to be exciting so first and foremost for those of you who are very new to the channel probably first video you are watching I will take one minute of time to tell you what we do here at Baiju's now I'm sure Baiju's is not a name that you don't know about you would have definitely heard about what we do here at Baiju's but what do we do on this particular YouTube channel in this particular YouTube channel we bring to you education that is of the best quality and education and learning does not mean just learning from your textbooks right learning is everywhere when you talk to your friends you talk to your teachers you spend time here you are constantly learning right so what are we going to do today we are going to actually play a game and we're actually going to improve our GK so everybody if you are excited for today please make sure you go ahead and hit the like button on this video mark your attendance and hit the subscribe button because trust me you will not find anything like this and trust me the team has put so much effort into making this amazing right so everybody please make sure you hit the subscribe and like button and give me a thumbs up and of course everybody I hope that my audio my video and my screen and what I'm writing on the screen screen is visible to all of you if it is and lots of emojis in the chat I need the chat to be flooded this is the time and our moderator is not going to spam you for I mean not going to time you out for spamming right so everybody quickly yes good evening good evening a lot of you are here jaldi jaldi make sure you share this video with all of your friends as well this game is going to be best when played live so I can see a lot of emojis coming my way so for those of you who have exams going on, take this as a stress buster, right? So everybody who are new to the channel, I welcome all of you. Welcome to this beautiful family. Hit that subscribe button. Yes, yes, very good. Okay, all right. So looks like we are ready for today. So before I get started, no, I want to ask all of you, yes? How many of you have played this game in school? Now, when you play it in school, it's slightly different. You will have something of this sort. Can you make me a little more bigger and in the center of the screen? So I'm just going to use a blank screen so that you see clearly. How many of you have played this? They're going to bring me to the center and they're going to make it big. Yes? I can see a lot of you here have done this. A uh, lot of you have played this. Some of you are saying, mom, no, we have not played this. It's okay. See, for those of you who have played, you know what we're going to do today. Then. For those of you who have not played this with me, I'm going to teach you. So this is a very simple thing when I used to be in school and I remember this was way when I was in, of your age. We used to have this thing where we make it out of paper, a simple sheet and what do you say? What is it that you say when I go and I do this? What is the words that we say? Yes? Can you all tell me? I need you to tell me. Chop chops. But I named it as fortune teller. Okay, some of you call it as tip top. What do we say when we move it? Tippy tap toe. All right. Which color do you want? Exactly. So when you open this and you ask your friend, you have your friend on the other side and you say, color, color, which color do you choose? Then your friend is going to pick a color. So I have Ranjit sir with me. Ranjit sir, pick a color. So Ranjit sir has picked red. So I would say R-E-D. Then I will go number, number, which number do you choose? And then I will give him four options of numbers. So Ranjit sir, which number? Eight. Ranjit sir has picked eight. E-I-G-H-T. 
And from here, I will open and we will see what inside it. There's going to be a question and we read out the question. So pretty much that's what, what we're going to do, right? But of course, you know, we here at Baiju's, we want to innovate, right? We want to do new, new things using this as an inspiration, right? So using this as an inspiration, we are going to be playing this, okay? So Ranjit is going to make me back into looking small. So what we are going to do is first I will make you pick a color, okay? And in each color, whatever you pick, there will be few numbers as well. Now for this, I need to have some math also because in each color, you see that there will be a total of eight questions and I will pick the majority. Whatever number that you want, I'm going to pick that. There's going to be questions for all of you. And by the end of it, please make sure that you collect maximum number of stars, right? So first and foremost, everybody, what we're going to do is let's do one thing, right? We need to have some competition. Only when there is competition, it'll be fun. So we're going to have two big teams. Okay, let's have two teams. Now everybody remember this, we're going to have, because I am not very innovative on the spot. So we are going to have Team Sky and we are going to have Team Fire, okay? So Ranjit sir, can we have two poles? So we will have Team Sky and Team Fire. Now everybody, I want you to pick which team you are going to be in, right? Which team are all of you going to be in? So for those of you, remember this, that I am Team Fire or I am Team Sky. So we will go one by one, okay? Ma'am, why is your pen looking like a big dot? Oh, I Harsimran, you know, technical glitches are part of, I think, this world, right? Okay, exactly. These are the cricket teams. Team Fire, Team Sky. So everybody pick your vote. Which one you are going to be? And let me see what the majority in the live chat says. Which... Uh, you know, which particular team are you going to be in? Use the poll. There's a poll which is live for all of you. You can use this and tell me which team you are going to be in. Now I can see most of you here are in Team Sky. Okay. Ma'am, Team Sky because ma'am is in Team Sky. Oh, I think I was in Team Fire. I was not in Team Sky. Just telling her I was in Team Fire. Because I remember I was in, in a team with Saurabh sir and he wanted to call the Team Fire. So I was like, okay. All right, so now a lot of votes happening. All right, so you know which team you are in, Ranjit sir, we can close the polls. You know which team you are in, right? So everybody, I can see that majority here is in team Sky only, right? So this is going to be simple. What do you need to do? You need to first pick a color, okay? So step number one is to pick a color. Now when I pick a color, for example, I pick purple, right? So if I pick purple, I have to next pick a number. Then based on the number that you tell me, you have to answer a question. Now, if most of you get the answer correctly, well and good, you will get a point for that, right? So I'm going to keep a point system for Team Sky and Team Fire. But at the end of the day, trust me, you are all in the same team. It's all about learning, but it's some fun games for all of you, right? So let's start with the first one. Team Sky, this is for all of you. Which color are you going to pick? Team Sky, yes? Now, I don't know who's in whose team, okay? So, whichever majority comes, I'm going to do that. But all of you should keep score. If I'm in Team Sky, then I should keep score, right? Okay. Again, I can see the chat is running really quickly. Now, in the meanwhile, as the chat keeps running, hit the like button on the video also because now you know how interesting it is. You imagine how hard our team has worked to make this happen for you. Okay, I can see a lot of blue coming my way. So, I'm going to click on blue. Okay, we team sky, you have chosen blue because sky is blue in color. Very obvious. Next, which number? Okay, which number? Yes, next time onwards for the colors, let's have a poll. So Ranjit sir, can we have a poll ready for green, um, the colors which are there on screen? Okay, let's have the poll ready for next time. Next time we'll have the poll. I can see majority is seven. There's a tie of seven. Seven is coming in my eye, so I'm going to do seven. So here's your question for Team Sky. What is the alphabet or what is the first letter of the Greek alphabet? This is your question for everybody in Team Sky. What is the first letter of the Greek alphabet? For those of you who are late to class, don't worry. Today's class is going to be all about us having a lot of fun, learning a lot of new things, right? Okay, I can still see... G. 
I can see answers coming as G. I can see alpha as well. Okay. Can we have another poll? So we need to here have G and alpha as the options, right? I can see two answers on my screen. Is it G or is it alpha? Now I'm a little worried that when you are looking at alpha or G, I know why G is coming. Okay. Yes, everybody, I think poll is almost there, right? Poll is almost there and Saranjit sir is getting everything ready. G, alpha, G, alpha, okay. What is it? Everyone, poll is there for all of you. What do you think is the answer to this? Now I can see the votes have started. 26 votes, okay, very good. Ma'am, is this menti? Absolutely not. We don't need menti to have an engaging quiz. We have us, we have YouTube polls. We will use that and have an engaging quiz. What do you think is the answer? This right here, for of course, if you are somebody who's watching it much later after the live, you probably would want to fast forward to know the answer. But uh, 176 votes in, most of you have got the correct answer. And let's see, the correct answer is alpha. See, for those of you who thought it was G, let me tell you one thing. Probably you assumed the alpha ka sign as G, right? So when you write alpha, you write it like this. Some of you would have got confused with G. Yes? Now, since majority of you have got the answer correctly, I'm going to give points for Team Sky. Yes? So, one point for Team Sky for doing it really well. Now, have we gotten a flavor of this game? Have we understood how this game works? Right? Super exciting today. No? Very, very exciting. For the next half an hour, we're going to be doing this. All right. Okay. So, now Team Fire is full ready to, you know, prove their metal. Now let's go back. Now we're going to have a poll so that you guys don't spam on the chat. We have four colors. Team Fire, I need you to pick. So I need all of you to pick the color. So I can see, I think Harsimran and Darsha and all of you are here on um, Team Fire. Now see, Ranjit sir is very smart to get polls on fast. He's only put first letter. So don't get confused. G is green, B is blue, Y is... Y is yellow. Oh, that's orange. Why is actually yellow slash orange? And uh, P is purple. Yes, it is O. <laughs> Next time. Okay. Now let's see what the votes say. All right, everybody. I hope all of you have voted. Can I see the results, please? Because I'm not able to find the vote. Okay. All right. Can we close the polls? Okay, many of you have chosen Y, which is orange. Maybe because you want fire and, you know, orange. Okay, I know the logic. Very good. Very uh, smart also. Now, number. Number may poll will not happen because, you know, we don't have seven options. So, everybody, uh, the first number I see on screen is the number that is going to come. Okay. What to do? Little bit you'll have to adjust as well. Okay. I am seeing a lot of twos coming my way. So, a lot of two. Okay, then two, four, two, two, two. I am seeing many twos. Can you refresh the chat on screen? Hey, you are also picking seven. Sky also picked seven. You are also picking seven. What is this? Pick some other number. No, seven. No, they, they also picked seven. Okay, fine. You want to pick same number as them. Okay, let's see. Question number seven for all of you. I saw seven was maximum. You wanted to do same as Sky. Okay. Are worker bees male or female? So now we'll have a poll. Can we have M and F on the poll, please? Is a worker bee? Now, you know when you talk about bees, we know bees have hives and broadly bees, are, there are, you know, queen bee, there is drone and there is worker bee, right? Is a worker bee a male or a female? Now, the answer is very easy. Now, poll will also come. Poll is the decider. Team fire, you need to be on your toes and give me the answer very quickly to this. We have a lot more questions to cover, right? So 38 votes are in and I can see majority is female. All right, okay. Very good, very good. 165 votes in and I can see majority is still leaning towards teams. I mean, female. So well done, all of you. Well done. We can close the votes and... 
super duper proud you are going to get beautiful stars from my end three stars for both the teams because the correct answer here is female now the thing is when you talk about bees you know that you have queen bee you have a drone and you have a worker bee now the queen bee here is a female and the drone that is there is a male now in the case of the worker bees they are all females right but the thing here is they don't have the same abilities as the queen bee that is the major distinction right now these worker bees which are there they are sterile which means they cannot reproduce and their main purpose that is there is that they work their entire life that means taking care of the hive and making sure that all the other things happen that's all the responsible of the female here right which is why in this case if you see i can see that the correct answer here is female now so far team sky and team fire are doing really well that means all of you in general are brilliant now that you've got a of this game let's speed up the process so are we ready for the next one right so let's move on so we've picked blue because sky is blue we've picked orange because you know fire is orange now you're left i mean fire is orange in color right now you are left with two which is purple and green let me tell you i was in purple house like blue house that is there no in my school it was purple house and my house used to always compete with green house so now you have two options so what are we going to do so somebody was asking me about the previous question and what about drones drones are actually males okay now let's see i can see again majority is leaning towards purple okay many many purples fine all right so we are going to go ahead i'm not going to take too much time we are going to purple we have taken the color which is purple now number now i told you for number no number first number i see is what the number i'm going to take okay because otherwise we have so many questions and we'll go on like this so number number which number do you all choose okay ranjit sir is hinting four from here i can see some fours also okay let's go with four all right so question number four everybody very interesting question on the human body so let's have a look which are the four most common elements in the human body very very easy question i would say right it's a pretty simple question only but i know some of you may get confused which are the four most common elements right so what would it be mahi has got a head start ashna has got a head start yes yeah, some of you have told me too oxygen okay very good oxygen is one among them what about the others water mahi what is there in water what are the elements which are there in water our body is what 60 70% water itself so what are the elements in water tell me what are the elements kriti ma will be very proud if you give me the answer to this exactly hydrogen so water has hydrogen and oxygen right so water oxygen and hydrogen are there these are two elements now what else do you need to survive you require carbohydrates no carbohydrates mein hydrogen is there oxygen is there but one more thing is there so what is that very good you have carbon right so you have carbon and you have nitrogen as well so the four very good harsimran very good and very good to a lot of you here i can see gamer shine has given me the answer gungun has given shrishti has given yes very good so the answer here is c h o n chon what is chon chon is nothing but it is carbon hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen so the correct answer is this and well done to all of you i am very proud of all of you who told me water right because we know that majority of our body is made up of water you just now needed to figure out what are the elements which are there in that so super duper simple and easy so that is one point for team sky now let's quickly move on team fire i hope all of you here are ready and in this case you know what team because green is the only color team fire shall we go ahead with green shall we take green when i say color color which color do you all choose are we ready to pick green color because green is the only one which is left right let's try green they are like ma'am no hey i can see a lot of yes now very good so now that we've tried one one of each let's go ahead with green and let's see what we have now you guys tell me the number i will pick the number right all of you tell me the number and what we will do is we'll go on a same order once more and we'll look at some of the interesting questions as well many feel like ma'am please one 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 okay see i can still see seven a lot of ones are coming so maybe i'll pick one so let's see what is there here 
This is a very simple question. I'm happy with a lot of bio questions which are coming. Which is the largest mammal in the world? Which is the largest mammal? So what are mammals? Mammals are nothing but organisms which give birth to their young ones, right? So here we see that these are the ones which give birth to their young ones. Now in this, which is the largest mammal? Now team fire is full on fire. They are already giving me the answers. And I can see majority of you have got the correct answer. It is the blue whale. And I am very proud. I am sorry the chat is moving so fast. And I am not able to see who told me. But somebody actually gave me the exact answer. Which is the untucked. Antarctic blue whale, right? The Antarctic blue whale is actually the largest mammal. Because when you talk about whales, no whale, when you say whales, whales is a very general term. You have many different types of whales, right? It's kind of like telling dogs because you know there are so many different kinds of dogs, yes? So in this case, I can see the exact answer here is Antarctic blue whale. But I'm going to go ahead if you have told me whale itself, that in itself is a good answer. But this is for all of you to know. This is some extra things that you all have to learn. So one point for team fire. Star marks to both my teams doing amazingly well. This goes on to show how amazing and awesome all of you are. So are we all ready? Are we ready for the next round? Yes? 20 minutes you didn't even realize time went by. Did you realize that 20 minutes of the session is already over? I mean it's going by so fast right? And like I said there are so many questions for all of you. So I'm sure all of you here are ready. Now, are we ready to do some more questions? Yes? Okay. Very good, all of you. Very good. Now, see, if you are new and this is the first session you are attending and if you are thinking, ma'am, here at Baiju's, it's brilliant that what you are doing. I mean, I'm learning so much and not even realizing the time is going by. Then you have to hit the subscribe button on this video and please make sure to hit the like button as well. Okay. Very good, everyone. Very good. So now I can see a lot of orange is coming my way. A lot of oranges. So probably let's go with orange for Team Sky. Now see, let me tell you question number 7 is already done. Now see this, this, you know, this particular session is also a test on my memory. I need to remember which numbers you guys have picked. So a lot of, you know, memory that I have to keep remembering what you picked. So no 7, I am not picking on 7. But I want another number. What else? Many of you are saying, whoa. It's going so fast. Okay, we are going with question number 5. Because I can also see some 5. Alright everybody, question number 5 for Team Sky. Which was the first country to use paper money? So which was the first country that used paper money? So now you know, right, earlier in the days, we were using barter system. That means we were, you know, we had this concept where if you had five oranges and I had four apples, I'll be like, I'll give you four apples, you give me five oranges instead, right? So that's what we understand as barter system. But over time, you realize that that is not something which is very ideal, which is why we switched to using paper money or paper currency. But which was the first country which introduced it? Amazing, amazing all of you are. Exactly, very good. In this case, we know that China was the country which first introduced the concept of paper money and they started using paper, you know, paper money as the form of paper currency as a form of money. That is the better way of saying it, right? Paper currency as a form of money. So very good all of you. Very, very good. Now with this, of course, Team Sky has gotten three points, right? Two rounds are over, so three points. Now moving back to Team Fire. So Team Fire, they are giving you nice tucker, right? So now it's time for all of you to show as well what you have in, you know, how much you all know. Ma'am, we are smart. I never doubted that. As a matter of fact, when I was talking to my team and I was looking at the questions, I said they'll answer all this very easily. All of you, I'm telling you, if you look at the questions, all of you know the answers to this. Okay, now Fire wants to go with blue, right? Give tucker to Pani itself. Okay, so let's go ahead with blue. Now number, now in blue, 7 is gone. Yeah, here also don't come with 7 overs. Question number 7 is done. Okay. Yes, uh, Harsimran, and I will be discussing that as well. Don't worry. Probably next week. Very good all of you. Very good. I can see number 8 coming my way. Here in the studio also they are giving us numbers. You know, they, the team is showing numbers here. 
All right, lot of eights coming my way. I will go with eight. Now the problem is after this round, I will not remember which are the numbers which are done. Oh, very very interesting question. Okay, this is for all of you to know. Which part of the body is fully developed at birth? Which means when you are born as a baby, right? Some parts of your body are developed. But later on as you grow on in life or you keep growing and developing, you're, there are multiple parts of your body which is still developing. That means when you are born, it's not fully developed, but it develops over time. But there is one part of the body which actually comes fully developed. Which part is it? Somebody is telling mom, nose. Nose, uh, heart, okay, skin, fine. Skin is developing as you grow, your skin is also growing, no? I mean, when I say skin is also growing, I mean skin is also developing. Very good, I can see most of you have got the answer correctly. Yes, very good. In this case, the answer is actually eyeball. So if you think about it, even if whether you talk about your brain, you talk about your heart, or you talk about different parts of your body, as you are growing, right, your body is also growing, which is why the stage between your birth and childhood, especially infancy time and till your childhood, your body is still developing, which is why post that you see that you have sexual changes that then take place, which allow your body to attain sexual maturity. But up until then, your body is still growing and developing and fully becoming developed, which is why in this case, the correct answer so here is eyeball so two points to my wonderful students right i mean overall all of you are standing at three points each yes one point to pakka now moving on everyone jaldi jaldi let's move on to the next question right ma'am is our brain also growing very good question our brain is growing as a matter of fact you know what when you are born right if you notice, they always tell you that you should never really, you, when you're holding a baby's brain, I mean a baby's head, you need to be really careful, right? The reason being is that even the skull, no, it is not fully developed for a young baby. Because the reason being that as your brain develops and it grows in size, your skull also needs to mold itself accordingly. Which is why even your skull is not fully developed when you are born. And as you grow older and older, and as the baby grows older and older, the skull also develops along with the brain. And if you talk about it, your brain undergoes a lot of changes over time and probably when you're an adult is like when they say it's fully developed right okay very good all of you a lot of you are telling me purple so now team sky i think we did team sky now now we're moving on to team fire right we are all doing team fire i have lost track a little bit which is why i'm asking okay very good all of you very good now i can see it's competition between green and purple okay for Yes, quickly, this is for Team Fire, no, we are doing Team Fire or Team Sky. It's for Team Sky, no? Oh, I finished Fire. Three all, okay, this is for Team Sky, thanks. See, I lose track otherwise. <laughs> yes, it's for Team Sky, okay, thank you, thank you. See, I lose track, I am not lying to you, no, suddenly when so many things are happening, I, if I don't write things down, I will not remember, which is why you always see. I'm always writing things. Okay, Team Sky wants purple. I'm going with purple. Okay? Now we will go to purple. Many purples are there. Now see, number question number 1 is over. Question number 7 is over. I think we did 8 also. Now next one. Okay. 4, 4, 4, 4. I can see a lot of 4s coming my way. Okay? Let's do question number 4. I just hope not that I have already done this question. Now we will go back. We have done this question. See? So let's go back. Tell me another number. I have for see now I will have to figure it out. I have not written it. Question number three. Okay. Very easy peasy question for Team Sky. Okay. This is so easy. Very very simple. Okay. How many bones makes up our ears? How many bones make up our ears? Or how many bones are found in the ears? So easy. So so easy. All of you should be able to get the answer to this. Somebody was asking ma'am next quiz, next quiz, next week. Somebody is telling ma'am zero. Very nice answer. Those of you who told me zero. Okay, I know why you told zero. Because at the end of the day ma'am, your is made up of, you know, cartilage, right? Why are you telling me bones? It's not bones, it's cartilage. But as a matter of fact, you know that your is, this part is not just our ear. Our ear, if you talk about the structure of a ear, there are parts which are inside, right? So considering that, how many bones do we have? 
We have three bones. Do any of you know the names of these bones by any chance? Any of you know the names of these three bones which are there in the yard? I can see the answer. Somebody has sent the message but it has gone far far away from my eyes. Very good. I think Anvita was the one who has sent it to me. Let me just go back. Raj has also, not Ra, Raj has not sent that, I think, wait, let me just refresh it. Yes, Darshan, very good, Darshan, very good, right? So here we know that the three names of the bones are Malleus, Incus and Stapes, right? So there are also other names, you can say Hammer, Anvil and Stirrup also, or they are also called as Malleus, Incus and Stapes. And these are the three bones which are found in the middle ear. What you see outside are actually parts of the external ear, right? So you will learn about all of this in your higher grades. I'm not going to go too much in detail. But these are the three bones and they actually help in amplifying the sound. So the reason why we're able to hear things so clearly, even if it is a faint sound, is because of these three bones, right? So well, good Mindshaft, Ergamers, Priya. Very good. I can see It's Lord has also sent it to me. Wonderful work. Wonderful, right? Why are our ears so soft? Our ears are soft because they're made up of something called as cartilage, which is not very rigid like our bones, right? So the composition, if you see, they're not very rigid. It's a little more flexible, which is why the tip of our nose, you see the ears, they are all very soft. Yes, all right. So four points is Team Sky and three points Team Fire. Quickly moving on for Team Fire. All of you, which color do you choose? Yes, okay. Everybody quickly tell me which color do you choose? Color, color, which color do you all choose? Ma'am, green. Okay, let's go with green then. Number, number, which number do you all choose? Yes? Which number do you all choose? Now, a lot of you, a lot of you here are asking me, ma'am, you remember me? I already, I remember all of you. Yes. Ma'am, why are our ears made up of cartilage? Our ears are made up of cartilage. Why? So see, there are two reasons. First and foremost, certain parts of our body, they need that kind of flexibility, could be part of evolution. Probably that's why they are made up of cartilage in the first place, right? And even the structural thing gives it a lot, certain amount of flexibility as well. Okay, seven, I think we've already picked everywhere. You guys have picked seven. Okay, I feel like seven is your favorite number. Six. I have not picked six yet. No? Okay. We are going with number six. Sorry, next time we will do four. Okay, promise. You guys have been sending four for a very long time, but we will do this. Which is the most consumed manufactured drink in the world? That means, in simple words, what is this one beverage that a lot of people drink? Many of you are sending my milk. See, let me bring some geography here. We are talking about which is manufactured. We know that you have primary activity, secondary activity, tertiary activity, 8th graders when I have taught you this. Primary is when you get raw materials. Milk cannot be considered because it's a raw material. You are not manufacturing. It is getting produced. So when you talk about it getting manufactured, it is converting a primary product into secondary product. What would that be? Very good, all of you. Very, very good. In this case, it is tea something i drink every day in the morning and i'm sure some of you here would be you know tea lovers or you like drinking tea as well right so the correct answer here is tea okay and we know that especially india is one among the exporters of tea as well and you know that you have darjeeling tea which is very very famous assam tea right so these are all examples very good all of you very very good a lot of you are like my mother also drinks tea it's my favorite and she goes like mom no i don't drink good don't not now. Don't drink tea. I mean, if you don't drink tea, it's okay. If you drink tea, it's okay. It's your choice. <laughs> All right. Ranjit sir is laughing at me now. Now, of course, everybody. See, we are at a tie. Yes. So now your team sky is at four points. Now team fire here, four points. Now what we're going to do is, we will have Ranjit sir and Shiva sir, who's here with us in the studio, pick a color and pick a number. All of you have to answer. Yes? Are we ready? Are we all ready? 
to do this. So the team that is there will pick the color and pick the number and you guys have to answer, right? And then you will have to tell, ha, equality. See, I am all about equality. No, I love my students equally. I can never, you know, choose between all of you. For me, all of you are winners. For me, all of you are amazing, right? Okay. All right. Yes, everybody is like, mom, yes, we are ready. Ma'am, but team fire is more active. That, see, fire may, you know what, they always say, you know, there's so much of uh, this one. See, but again, like I said, I love my students equally. I am all about equality. Now, moving on, Ranjit sir and Shiva sir, are you guys ready to pick for the students? Color, color, which color do you all choose? Blue. Okay, so they have picked blue. Okay, I need more Josh in the chat. Josh needs to be super duper high. All right. So number, number, which number do you all choose? Oh, Shiva sir is full fast. He's like giving his numbers like this. Sir, they all want four. They've been asking for number four for a very long time. We'll do four. Okay. So let's see. All right. Number four, fourth question on popular demand, right? Which is the hottest planet in the solar system? Which year is the hottest planet? Grade 8 students who have sat and watched Saurabh Sir's 1000 solar systems uh, session should be able to answer this. But 7th and 6th graders, I know you will know. Even if, you are, even if it's not part of your syllabus, it's so interesting that you would have definitely watched this. I can see the answers, but I can also see that there's a tie happening between Mars and Venus. Okay, so there's a tie going on between Mars and Venus. What is the answer? Now I can see. Chat is running, but I can see only one word and that is Venus and Venus is the correct answer. Now, can you tell me why is it that in the solar system, now when you talk about solar system, we know that the planet which should be closest to the sun should be the hottest, right? Which means ideally the first planet that is closer to the sun is Mercury. But then why is it that Venus is hotter than Mercury? Does anybody know the answer to this particular question? Greenhouse effect. Okay, very good. But Mercury is so close to sun. No, then why not? High sulfur content. Okay. Yes, very good. Very good. A lot of you here know the answer to this. It is because of the atmosphere of Venus as a planet, right? So if you look at the atmosphere, we see that it's very, very thick and it has a lot of greenhouse gases like a lot of you have told me, right? So there's a lot of greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide and of course the clouds that are there have a mix of sulfuric acid. Now we know that as a result of greenhouse effect, it does not allow heat that is there, which means that what is greenhouse effect? Which means that heat what enters will get trapped. It will not be allowed to go out. So if there's a lot of or abundance of greenhouse gas, that means a lot of heat gets trapped within which is why when compared to mercury because of the atmosphere of venus we see that venus is actually the hotter planet and in the solar system it is actually the hottest planet which is there yes very good all of you very very good it's like a blanket exactly raj very good okay so with this of course everybody it's a tie all of you have got the answers how about we do one thing and you tell me if you want to do this. Now there are two options, right? Because if we go the process in which we are going, we may take longer. So how about we just go ahead and look at all the questions that we did not solve together. And how about towards the end, we solve all the questions? Yes? How many of you want to do this? That pehle say we will go, right? And whatever questions we have solved, we'll skip it. And whatever new question is there, you will all give me the answers. Then jaldi jaldi we will go. And there are five more minutes, right? So that we learn more as well. See now, if you like what we did so far, because I know you all have thoroughly enjoyed yourselves, this is only possible because we have such a hard working team. So I request all of you that after this session, if you enjoy yourself, let me know in the comments of this video that you really enjoyed what we did. You want to do more of such interesting sessions and what you would like to learn more from us. Let us know in the comments of this video and hit the subscribe button. Yes. Ha ha, somebody's like, ma'am, can you do fast? Of course, we'll go fast. And I'll go slowly also. So we look at all the questions, okay? Yes, all right. So first, we are going to have a look at this particular one. Okay, just give me a moment. Okay, just give me one moment. All right, so this is the first question. So everybody, how many dots... 
does a pair of dice have, right? So how many dots does a pair of dice have? What is the answer? Oh no, answer was there on the screen. It's okay. Yeah, I know, answer came fast. But technically, think about it, right? So in a die, if you take one single die, you will get 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6, which means ideally you will get 21. And they have told you that it's a pair. So basically 20, uh, 21 into 2, that is nothing but 42. Which is why in this case, the correct answer here is option number. It's 42. Somebody said Lycosaur is caught in 4K. Yes, <laughs> I have done this in 4K. But nonetheless, right? Mom, ye to cheating ho gaya tha accidentally. Yeah, I didn't realize I pressed the thing twice. No, all this is animation, which is why it took some time. It's okay. So shall we move on to the next question? All right. I hope the answer doesn't come. Okay. This is a very interesting one. All right. So now, of course, as you all know, right? How many hearts are there in an octopus? How many hearts are there? Now, somebody was telling me my Ahar Simran. I said 30th, not 28th. I think 30th of March. We said we'll come live on Telegram. We'll come. It's tomorrow. How many hearts are there? Very good, all of you. Very good. Very proud of all of you. The correct answer here is actually three. And this is a very interesting fact. Does anybody know why is it that an octopus needs to have three hearts? Why is it that we don't have three hearts? We have only one heart and it's doing the job. Why is it that octopus needs to have three extra hearts? I mean, two extra hearts and do the work. Does anybody know why so? Yes? See, we all know this fact. But why is it that it has three hearts? It's very, very simple. It has eight legs as well. Ma'am, because it has eight, le eight tentacles. Okay. Very good, it's Lord. Very good. Now, see. In the case of octopus, right? Now, if you look at our blood, our blood is red in color. But if you look at the blood in octopus, it's actually blue in color. And the reason why it is blue in color is because it has something called as hemocyanin, okay? While what we have in our body is hemoglobin. Now, this hemoglobin is very efficient, does its job, okay? But hemocyanin is not as efficient as hemoglobin, right? So, the amount of oxygen that hemoglobin transports is very efficient. That means it transports a good amount of oxygen. But when you look, compare it with hemocyanin, hemocyanin is not that efficient. Which is why, improving the efficiency, we see that it has three hearts. And along with that, we also see that in to facilitate efficient transport of blood because it has eight tentacles also we see that it has three hearts as well right so this right here is the correct answer now of course this particular question we have already solved together this question also we have solved together okay now moving on to the next one when compared to clownfishes sharks have no what what is it what do sharks have or what do sharks don't have what is it that sharks don't have? It has nine brains. Actually, it has nine brains. It has one main brain, the octopus, and it has eight, like, you know, chotu chotu brains, you can say. I'm not going into the technical terms of it, but yeah. Sharks have no gills. They have. They have gills. Otherwise, how they, what is this? Three lines are there. Fins. Fins also they have. What is it that they don't have? Wings. A clownfish doesn't have wings. Bones. Exactly. So fishes are of two kinds. Fishes are bony fishes and cartilaginous fishes. So if you look at clownfish, lungfish, common carp, they are all examples of bony fishes. That means inside they have bones. But in the case of sharks and if you look at stingrays, not stingrays, electric rays and everything, we see that they don't have this. They have cartilage instead. So this right here is an example. Now the next question is easy peasy, jaldi jaldi you will be able to do. In which city did the Olympic Games originate? Yes, which city? Okay. Yes. Which city do we see this? Ma'am said, oh what did I say? Did I say some, ma'am someone said, what did someone say? Let me see, let the chat refresh. Tokyo, US, Rome. Oh, many many names coming my way. 
Athens. Very good. All of you, very, very good. Correct answer here is Athens, Greece. That is where the Olympic Games originated. Next question. Which is the largest ocean? Which year is the largest ocean in the world? Jaldi. Athens, Greece. Exactly. Those of you who told me Greece, correct answer. I will take it. Very good. It is the Pacific Ocean. Exactly. See, now full rapid fire I will do. Now moving on to the next one. Which type of fish is Nemo? Which type of fish is Nemo? Nemo is a very popular, you know, animated movie which had come out. I'm sure most of us would have watched Nemo and Dory, right? And the journey of Nemo. But what type of fish is Nemo? Nemo is goldfish. I'll give you a clue. I've leaked the answer to this already. I've already given one big leak. Finding Nemo. Exactly. It's not Nemo, but finding Nemo. Exactly. Yes, very good all of you, very good. See, we have so many such beautiful fishes. I feel like I'm in one, you know, aquarium only, right? So in this case, of course, answer is clownfish, right? Nemo is a clownfish. Very beautiful all of you, very, I mean, very good all of you. This is very beautiful, but very good. Moving on to the next one. What is the chemical name for common salt? Yes, what is the chemical name for common salt? Now everyone, I need all of you to hit the like button on this video. I can see Darshan say, ma'am, you know the person who worked on the slide has done an amazing job. Yes, she has. Tripti ma'am has done an amazing job and you will be telling this to Tripti ma'am in the comments of this video. Exactly. Very good all of you. Very good. The correct answer here is option is nothing but sodium chloride or NaCl. Very good. Next up, which is the longest river in the world? See, I told you, I am doing rapid fire at this point. It's very simple, easy questions for all of you to learn and understand. Which is the longest river in the world? Can you all tell me? Yes, very good all of you, very good. So when you talk about liver, river and the longest one, we are talking in terms of distance. And we know that the Nile River is the longest river. Now can you tell me where we find the Nile River in which continent? I am not going to ask you which country. I am going to ask you which continent, right? Which continent do we find it in? Can you all tell me? Yes, very good all of you. Very, very good. Most of you know the answer, right? Exactly, we find it in Africa. Not Asia, but Africa, right? Okay, moving on. The you can tell me the answer to this. Which is the longest bone in the human body? Which right here is the longest bone in the human body? See, the Amazon River that is there or Amazon Forest comes mainly in South African region. I mean, not South African, South American region, right? So don't get confused with where the Amazon is. Amazon is in South America. Very good, all of you. Brilliant work. Correct answer here is thigh bone, right? Or it's also called as femur. Now moving on. What is the game or what is the name of the game which is played at the Wimbledon? Can you all tell me which is the game which is played at the Wimbledon? Now Wimbledon is a very pre prestigious tournament that takes place. But tournament for what? Can you all tell me? Lawn tennis, okay. Chess, hockey. Very good, very good. Mama, I don't know. It's okay. I'm proud of all of you who are telling me, Mama, I don't know. But... In this case, the correct answer here is tennis, actually. So in this thing, we know that the Wimbledon tournament is for tennis. Mainly, we have a lot of amazing players also, like Roger Federer. We know that there's Rafael Nadal, right? They're all very prominent figures when it comes to tennis as well. So now, of course, let's quickly move on, right? So we've already done this, which was the first country to use paper money. Next question for all of you calling me Lycosaurus out there. Which dinosaur is also called as the Tyrant Lizard King? Which dinosaur? Now we've learned, we've had a session where we learned about different dinosaurs, right? So which dinosaur that is there is a different, is also called as the Tyrant Lizard King? Break your O's. Somebody say, I'm Komodo Dragon. Guys, we're talking about dinosaur. Which one is it? 
Exactly. Very good, all of you. Very, very good. Ma'am, I don't have knowledge on dinosaurs. Then go and search for a session which says, let's learn about dinosaurs, where you will see me holding like this and one cute little dinosaur there. What's that session, right? So now, of course, the correct answer, as most of you have told me, is T-Rex, which is the Tyrannosaurus Rex, right? So this right here is the correct answer. Now, of course, we did this question. And yes, moving on. What do caterpillars turn into? What is it that caterpillars turn into? Can you all tell me what do they become? Yes? What do they become? Caterpillar will metamor undergo metamorphosis and it's going to become a beautiful little butterfly. So the correct answer here is butterflies. Super duper simple. Yes. All right. So now of course I'm going to pick hand pick a few questions for all of you to learn. Right? So now... Simple questions, jaldi, so that Arsh ma'am can come and teach you all about how to make notes for toppers. How many colors are there in a rainbow? How many colors are there in a rainbow? I'm going to hand pick a few questions which are there. Yes, very good, very good. Exactly, this is so easy. Answer is seven. Now, can you all tell me what are the seven colors? You don't need to name all the colors to me, but what are the beautiful seven colors? You can see a very beautiful rainbow that's there behind me. What are the seven colors? Give me the abbreviation also. Very famous abbreviation is there for the colors in the rainbow. It starts with V. Exactly. We have Vibgyor, right? So Vibgyor tells you what are all the colors which are there in the rainbow. Or you can do the Ulta version also. It's completely fine. But Vibgyor is what we mostly go ahead with, right? Okay. Now I'm going to quickly take you through some easy peasy questions. I think we've already done. What is the hardest natural substance? That is their last question for the day. Which is the hardest natural substance in that is there on earth? Did you all get the answer because you saw something when I was changing slides? Is that the case? Somebody like, anybody who saw the answer when I was changing slides very smartly? They have raised hands here also. Yes, very good all of you. Very good. Correct answer is diamond right so you know that di diamond that is there is the hardest natural substance so with this of course everyone i would tell you that we have a lot more questions but we come to the end of today's class right now see in today's class what we had one hour of class and how many of you realize that one hour actually went by almost 50 minutes that was there went by very fast any of you realize that one hour went by yes any of you felt like ma'am didn't even realize, no? Mom, we should have more such classes. Of course, we should have more such classes, right? Okay. Yes, exactly. So see, time goes by really fast. And what you didn't realize is that you were constantly learning as well, right? You learned so many different kinds of things today by just playing a simple game of color, color, which color should we choose? So with this, of course, you know that we here at Baiju's believe that when we say we've got you covered, we quite literally mean it. Our team goes above and beyond just to make sure that even this 52 minutes of class that I have taken is of best. You know, you have the best kind of quality. You have the best kind of learning. So if you appreciate what we do, then in the comments, let Trupti ma'am know that she's done an amazing job because this will mean the world to her. So let us know in the comments of this video. And if you want more such interesting sessions and if you have some ideas that you want to share with us, you tell us in the comments of this video as well because you know that we will take it into account and we will help you out. Now, of course, everybody, if you enjoyed this, please make sure you hit the like button on this video. Do not forget to subscribe right and share this video with all of your friends so that you can tell them that you know what Baiju 628 does the amazing videos we should subscribe to this channel right so everybody I will see you all soon so very soon take a short break and jump into Arsh Ma'am's class on how to make notes if you want to be a topper and I know all of you are toppers here right so I will see you all very soon but up until then everybody take care lots of love and bye bye